Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on cell structure and function. Our objectives for today will be, number one, what are the names and functions of organelles? Number two, what is the importance of a nucleus in a cell? And number three, what are cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems? Let's start with talking about the common cell traits. All cells are the smallest unit of life. Uh, you can't get smaller than a cell and still be able to hold all the functions uh, necessary for life to occur. All cells have certain structures. They have a cell membrane, and that is the outer covering of the cell that holds all of its contents. And then all cells have what we call cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is basically the jelly-like fluid inside of the cell. It basically um, gives the cell its shape, um, and it also holds or suspends all of the structures within the cell. Um, it also holds the hereditary material that is inside of the cell that is copied and um, when that cell is ready to reproduce itself uh, that hereditary material is copied inside of the cytoplasm. Now there's two types of cells there's prokaryotes and there's eukaryotes. Prokaryotes, though, the difference between the two are that the prokaryotes do not have membrane-bound structures, meaning uh, anything that is in a prokaryotic cell is free-floating, what we call free-floating. And does not have a, a membrane. Uh, certain examples of prokaryotes are bacteria, yeast, and protists. These, are, of course, are the very simple structured cells. They're easy to copy and they're easy to reproduce because they don't have any membrane bound structures and they're very simple. Then we've got the more complex prokaryotes. These uh, cells do have membrane bound structures um, and they're more of course more uh, complex and examples will be uh, fungi, plant, and animals. Now here are pictures of the eukaryotic cell and the prokaryotic cell. And this is just to show how much more involved and more complex a eukaryotic cell has uh, as far as the structures within because it has to do more function uh, than a prokaryotic cell. All right, let's talk about cell shape. Now, all cells come in different shapes and sizes, and for the most part, the cell shape depends on the function of that cell. So, for example, um, in the human body, we have nerve cells. And nerve cells uh, transmit messages from parts of the body to the brain. And so those nerve cells must be very long because they transmit those messages uh, and through long distances. So this would be an example of a nerve cell or what we would call a neuron, which is the name of a nerve cell. And as you can see, the neuron has a very long, what we would call an axon. It's got uh, kind of like a head to it where uh, what we call the nucleus or the brain of the cell is up at the top. But it's got all these branches too that basically branch out to different parts of the body. And so that is the reason why you can send messages from your toe all the way to your brain because of these long neurons. And then we have like the egg, uh, human egg cell um, found in uh, the female human body uh, in the ovaries. And it's actually the largest cell in the human body starts off as the largest cell in the human body and then it continues to grow through a process we call mitosis which is just part of cell division um, but basically that human uh, egg has a very large nucleus it has a lot of cytoplasm it has quite a bit of what we call a structure called mitochondria which uh, basically helps the cell to uh, provide energy for the cell and that's because that human egg will soon be a human um, over time if it's fertilized 
So that's the reason why it's got to have a pretty large, start out as a pretty large cell. And then finally we have a very simple cell in the human body, the blood cell. Now the whole purpose of the blood cell is to carry oxygen. So it's, the blood cell doesn't have a large nucleus or uh, large numbers of different organelles, what we call organelles or different structures inside because the most, most of its uh, body or what most of the inside is going to be there to carry oxygen. So it's very simple.